Hi everyone, today's lesson is lesson 31, pairs of lines and angles. When lines cross, we say that they intersect. If we draw true straight lines on the same flat surface, then those lines either intersect at that some point or they don't intersect at all. Lines that go in the same direction and do not intersect are called parallel lines. Okay. Parallel lines always stay the same distance apart. Thinking of train tracks can help you give an idea of parallel lines. Lines on the same surface that are not parallel are called intersecting lines. Okay. Now, this pair of intersecting lines has a special name, and they are called perpendicular. Perpendicular lines mean that the lines intersect to form square corners. So you see how I can draw squares? Our other two lines don't intersect to form square corners, so they're just called um, intersecting lines, or we call them oblique. Okay, They're neither parallel nor perpendicular. Okay, So this one says draw a pair of oblique lines. So I'm going to draw two lines that intersect, but do not form square corners. So for example, I might draw a line this way and draw a line this way. Okay, You could also go this way and this way. All right. All right, which of the following figures does not appear to contain perpendicular segments? So remember, perpendicular segments form a square. A square corner. So we can see that A has a square corner, so it's not that one. B has a square corner, so it can't be that. And D has a square corner. So the only figure that does not have perpendicular segments is C. All right. So angles are where when lines or segments intersect, we have angles formed. The angle is the opening in between the two lines or segments. So in here we have the amount of opening can vary. Some angles may be more open or less open. So this angle here is an acute angle. An acute angle is a small angle that is less than a right angle. Okay, Our right angles form a square corner. Okay. So acute angles are smaller than a right angle, and we can remember that by saying they're, aw, they're so cute, because they're small. All right, right angles form a right corner. The next one is obtuse angles. An obtuse angle is an opening that is more than a right angle, or bigger than a right angle. And then a straight angle is when we have a straight line. Okay. So this says, which of these angles appears to be a right angle? Now we don't have the little square this time to show us, but we can see what it is, see one. Okay, so this one, this angle seems to be bigger than having a square angle, so it's not that one. This one looks like it has a square, so B is probably the right answer, but let's look at the others. Okay, C has a smaller angle, and D looks like it just has just a little bit of a bigger angle. It doesn't form a square. Okay, see, the no square. So B is the angle that is a right angle. Okay, and that's it for this lesson. Good luck on your homework.